What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So as most of you may remember, last week I did an introduction video on Animator, which is Fredo 6's new animation extension that allows you to actually animate geometry in your models. I wanted to go ahead and create a video kind of walking through the basics of how to create those animations. So before I get started, I do want to take a second and thank my newest Patreon supporter, Keith Dewey. Um, as most of you know, Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube and on other websites. So all proceeds from my Patreon page go towards just expanding the show, uh, buying new extensions and hardware, just kind of making what I do for you guys better. So if you're interested in supporting the show, make sure you check out the link in the notes below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So the first thing I wanted to do was uh, kind of introduce you to the uh, Animator workspace. So when, when you install Animator, you get this uh, Fredo 6 animator toolbar that pops up and uh, basically what you do is you use this in order to create and edit your clips and so he's got like a full full-on video creation tool set in here and so there's a few different options the one we're gonna focus on in this at this point is the clip editor that's where you're gonna go in and you're going to edit your clips and make all your changes that sort of thing so we're gonna go ahead and click on that when you click on that it's gonna pop up all this stuff on the on the top and to the left of your model and it looks kind of intimidating but it's really not um, it's not as complicated as it looks um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of walk you through uh, what all this stuff does and it may take a couple videos to get really into the details on this but we'll go ahead and start off and we'll just do some kind of basic stuff so the first thing is this over here is your sequencer so your sequencer is basically where you set your time so it's more like a timeline of your actual clip so as we add clips in here you'll be able to set different times and be able to see where all the objects are at that point so that's that's going to be important you can click uh, if you want you can click this little yellow box if you would rather the timeline was vertical instead of or horizontal instead of vertical so if you want to move that around you can definitely do that um so that's going to be your sequencer and then you've got a couple different menus in here you've got a menu over here that's got more of your like housekeeping type stuff you can adjust like your settings um, you can exit temporarily to sketch up you can do a lot of different things with this but that's going to have more to do with your settings itself and then this toolbar here is where you're going to manage your different clips so when I want to create a new clip, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to be able to rename it. And actually we're going to click the drop down to make a new one, but you can edit your current clip by tr clicking on this right here. And then over here on the right is where you're actually going to insert your animation objects. So, or where you're actually going to insert things like your movements and that sort of thing. So this is going to adjust, you can adjust everything from unit movements to um, adjusting your camera or visual effects. So this is where you're going to insert all of that stuff. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and let's just create our first animation. And before I do this, I'm going to adjust the materials in this model. Some of you may remember this is an older model that I did that I pulled back up and I figured I'd just start off with something simple like animating a car or driving down the street and then also people moving around in your model and so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to adjust this material so now we have some asphalt in here I'm gonna add concrete for my sidewalk so now my textures are more right All right, so now we're good to go. So we've got, basically we've got a house model, we have a person model, and we have a car model. And so let's walk through creating our first animation. So the first animation I wanna create is gonna be a very simple one. I'm just going to animate this car moving down the road. So in order to do that, we're gonna start off, we're gonna click this little drop down, and we're gonna say new film. And so we're gonna name this something that we can understand. So in this case, we'll call this car movement. And it's important, and go ahead and click Create Film. And it's important for you to label this something you can understand because you're gonna be able to switch back and forth between your different clips by clicking this little drop down. And so you need to be able to tell what they are by whatever the name, whatever the name that you wanna call them. And so the first thing we're gonna do, because we want to move this car, is we're gonna insert a movement. So we're gonna come over here to the insert, and we're gonna click this little box right here, which you can see at the bottom, 
says insert a unit movement in the timeline. So basically we want to insert a new movement. And so to insert a new movement, you just click that drop down and select new movement. And then you've got a bunch of different options in here. So you've got rotations and scales, um, explosions, paths, all sorts of different things. Well, in this case, we just want translation. So all translation means is you're just going to move something from one place to another place. And so in this case, you can see this is being a little tricky because there's a couple different objects in here. Well, what you can do is you can click on an object and it'll give you an option for all of the components in there. So in this case, I'm clicking on this object and you can see how this car was modeled in two parts. Well, if I click on it, it gives me the option to select either the car half or the full component. So I wanna select the full component. And so now you can see that I'm selected because everything's blue. And so now it's gonna ask me where I want this to go. So in this case, I'm gonna tell it, I want it to go from this point to this point. And so you can also set that offset by clicking on this box right here. So let's say I wanted this to go more like 40 feet. I can type in 40 feet. And you can also set the speed where it does this. You can also kind of lock this to the different axes. So basically now this movement is this car moving from this point to this point. And so once you're done with that, you're just going to go over here and you're just going to click the little green dot and you're just going to say save the sequence and exit. And it's going to ask you to name your new sequence. So in this case, I'm going to call this sequence car movement and click OK. And I was testing this a little bit. We'll use car movement one. And so now when I hit OK, you can see how now over here in my uh, in my sequencer now I have a clip in here and so if I was to come in here and I was to click play with car movement selected that car is gonna move in my object you you saw how that moved and so you can click anywhere in this timeline to see where your car is gonna be at any given point so at this point you can see how my car is moving those 40 feet in my model in two seconds and so what we can do, you can click on this and you can adjust different things. So if I click on this, you can see how this is my car movement. I can change my duration. So let's say I want this to take four seconds. And you can see how that got longer because I adjusted this to four seconds. So now if I click play, my car is gonna move slower. You can see how it's moving just like that. So you can adjust your duration, you can set it to repeat. Um, you can adjust some of these other ones as well, and quite honestly, I'm not 100% sure what a lot of these things do. So you can see how the easing, what it does is it looks like, I believe, those adjust the way that this moves. So in this case, what I can do is I can tell it to speed up. So what this is doing is it actually adjusts the speed that my car goes. So instead of it going at a constant speed, what it does is it'll adjust the speed and the easing. And you can turn the easing on and off. So you can turn easing off by clicking on this. And as soon as this is aligned, the easing is off. But you can use this to adjust so things don't move at a uniform speed. You can have it start slow and then speed up and then slow down. You can adjust things like that. So there's a lot of different stuff in here. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and say, okay, this car can move this distance in four seconds. And then what we're going to do is now we're going to add a second animation. We're going to add the me and Bonnie moving along the sidewalk this way. So that's going to stay on my timeline. And then you're going to click this little drop down and we're going to select a new film and we're going to call it actually no. We're gonna select the car movement and we're gonna add another translation. So to do that, we're just gonna click this insert a unit movement again. And we're gonna click new movement. And we're just gonna move our mouse over here. We're gonna select the me and Bonnie object. And then we're gonna do the same thing where we're gonna offset. So when you select this translation, you're gonna click on this point here, then move your mouse over here. And so now you can see that the me and Bonnie object is going to move 34 feet this way. 
And so now we're gonna go ahead and click save the sequence and we're gonna call it me and Bonnie walk. So now we have two different clips that show up in here. And so now if I click the play button, you can see how the me and Bonnie object is gonna move this amount of time or this amount of distance in this amount of time. So if I click on this timeline, you can see where I'd be at any given point. Well, obviously me and Bonnie are very fast, but we're not gonna go faster than the car. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this clip, which is me and Bonnie walking, we're gonna click on it, and we're gonna take that duration, and we're gonna make that duration probably 10 seconds. So now the me and Bonnie object is gonna move a lot slower than the car is. So if I click play, you can see I'm walking down the road, the car is going slowly this way, and this object is still moving. So now I have an animation where I have a car driving by, and I have this object walking. And then the last thing you want to make sure that you do is you want to make sure you click the save button over here so you can come back and edit this animation later, otherwise you could lose everything. So make sure you click the save button once you've made your changes, that way you can come back in here and adjust this and get to it later. And then we can just click this exit tool. Well now, if you get this, you can click on this little video player right here and you can actually play your clip. So you can take a look at your clip, look at the way that it look at the way that it looks, and then you can also, when you get the right exporters in here, you can actually export this to a video file. So just make sure that you save that because that's going to be really important so that you can actually come in and edit this stuff later on. So that's a very basic animation you can create. In the next video, we'll probably talk a little bit more about uh, animating objects along paths and a animating the movement of multiple different things at once. So things like uh, moving the top of a tower crane or a tire moving on a car. So make sure you check that video out as well. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Um, did you like this video? Do you have some good ideas for what you can do with Animator? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.